Great here, welcome back to Factorio. So I've been watching this and the water is actually not accumulating all that much in these tanks. So it's not that I don't have enough tanks, it's that I'm not producing the hot water fast enough. And part of the reason for that is because I'm, mag I'm maxed out on my solar panel capacity up to uh, 10 mega uh, megawatts. I need another three, three to four megawatts um, if we look here historically. Um, yeah, we, we need more power on this on the engines uh, to cover or no more power out of our panels to get the engines completely shut off during the day that will let the boilers put all of their their energy into the uh, into th those hot uh, hot water tanks so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come over here and since we're we're completely secure over here let me actually yeah we're completely secure over here. This is a wide open area that I'm probably never going to connect anything into at all. So let's actually get a... Hmm, I'm going to want to actually expand my blueprint maybe. No, let's not. Let's just use the blueprint I've got right now. I was thinking of doing a completely different blueprint, but I'm not going to do that. So we have to do this just anywhere in the construction network, and you can see how the construction area is just absolutely gigantic. So let's just start, like right here. And build this out. Like, uh, no. I'm not, somehow I messed this one up. Come on, come on, I want to get, get rid of this. Thank you. Okay, so where is my, okay, so. That's what I get for completely mucking up the pattern, okay. And of course these are coming from all the way across the base, so it's gonna take a while for these to get over here. But there's my pattern. Okay. And I'm leaving space all the way around to uh, make sure that I can actually get to the walls if I need to. There. So this looks okay. Yeah, okay. That's gonna help a bit. Let's get a little bit more out, like here. And here. And this is also why I wanted the the worker speed. Because they, these have to come all the way across the, uh, the factory. And it takes them forever to fly all the way over here. And I'm pretty sure they're, they're probably having to recharge at least one or two of the rebel ports along the way. Huh. How does some iron get in here? Interesting. Well, I mean, it'll be used eventually. So this is no longer needed, actually. Don't need that, or this, or this. So like I said, everything to the north of here is secure. Yeah, they would have to come from the south at this point. So yeah, none of that was actually needed. Good deal. Okay. This, I still want... No, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. I don't have any defenses to the south. So... And I'm not in a logistics network, so I cannot use my supplemental guns. Let's change that. Let's get this into the, uh, the network. Shouldn't be that difficult to do. 
Yep, there's an attack going up there. And it looks like we handled it fairly decently. And we got up to... Well, we still have a thousand water in the tanks, so... We'll see how the, the water production goes. Yeah, see, they were coming down to me with the steel. They got tired, now they got to run back. So, where's my rubble port? This rubble port I want to put right there. And let's get a power connection in. And light. Wait. That was dumb of me. Let's get a power connection actually on it. There we go. There's our light. And where is our chest? There it is. There's the chest. Okay. Uh, I know I'm going to frustrate a, a robot that's coming over here, but there you go, buddy. Let's take care of that. So now we've got the power here, and we're still not in the logistics network down there. Just outside of reach. I'm betting this is stalled because the alien science packs... I, I don't have... I haven't really hunted a lot of aliens, so... Yeah. So, let's... Just, I want to get this taken care of. I'll worry about the rest of this later. Can I fit all of it in there? Yeah. Just... Just science pack it up. That's that's going to be 540 science packs. Purple science packs. We'll worry about getting more later. Okay, now we're in the middle of the day. Let's check our power again. Yeah, we're barely barely needing any... There we go. Now that the, the sun has gotten higher. Yeah, we still get some fluctuations. But now look at the water... The rate of water gain. We're up to 1.5k. 1.6, 1 1.7. Yeah. We'll probably fill these tanks up. That we definitely needed to keep on top of the... Oh, the solar panel situation out here. So, yeah. This is going to be become basically one giant solar panel field over here. Good deal. And I've got one more rubble port coming, and this rubble port will be down. Down? What kind of language was that? That was just you. Okay. I've got enough walls for this. Okay. Let's get this rubble port down. And it actually has to go in the middle here somewhere. Okay, well, fine, be that way. See if I care. I'll make it work. There we go. And of course, I did it again where I didn't get this close enough. I want a light, and I want a storage chest on the back side, because the aliens will be coming from the south here. Okay. So, now with the logistics network coming down to here, if I go... Ah... Yes, I'm changing plans on the fly. What I can do now is, with the logistics network extended down this far, and I haven't really been attacked from the south yet, but what I can now do is... Let's get this taken care of.
Let's keep that. There we go. One more. One more. One more. I'm not out. Oh, it's coming up from the, the main network, that's why. That is really nice that I can actually just clear the forest like that with blueprints. Of course, I can't get through there to the the rest of it. Okay, so there. I'm covered there. There's coverage. The blueprint clearing is just so much nicer. Because I, I want to keep these trees down here to, to eat the pollution still. I'm, I'm fine with, on the north side, um, clearing out the trees because my pollution is already hitting everything up there. And, yeah, yeah, okay, I've got a wall all the way out. Nice. I do have guns, I do have extended poles, so let's do a pass on the guns. They want to be facing that way. And I need to edge through here as best as possible. You know what I should do? Is... There we go. And no, 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 no. Yes. Thank you. And just make a bunch of those by hand. Let's deconstruct these. Okay, now let's get this set up. I definitely don't need there, so let's just go to the max range. There. That is so nice. I know I've said that multiple times, but the first time that I really worked with a RoboPort, I was, or with Blueprints, I wasn't able to clear stuff like that. Okay. Uh. Got three more guns. Oh, just enough guns. Perfect. Okay. So now we are safe on the northeast and the southeast completely. Unless they break through the walls, obviously. And what I'm going to do now is I am, since this is within the logistics network and this is fairly important... I am going to put let's do it this way like that I'm not sure if those it, I'm probably not making guns anywhere which is fine and let's get our The reason that I'm doing it this way is this is a, a huge pollution producer right here. Um, so say I start activating bases to the south and they eat through the walls to the south. They're going to make a beeline up here to get into here and uh, basically destroy these, these boilers. And this is my base. These, with my lasers being all of these defenses, I need these to stay up. So... Yeah, this is well inside my base, but this is a good place to to really um, beef up my defenses. Unfortunately, it's, having heavy defenses would be nice. This would be a good place for the those uh, storage chests that I wanted to, to put down. 
But um, it's it's all the way on one edge of my base. It's not central, so it's probably not a good place to have um, storage that that where things are just going into storage for later use. I want that to be more central. Okay, let's look at our water. Water is com almost completely full. So yeah, yeah. Anytime we we add any more power users, we definitely need to add more. Uh, more solar panels and what I'm doing here is I want to get this this patch out of the way as quickly as possible so let's double up on our uh, on our miners here uh, that miners done that miners done yeah this iron patch is is getting depleted I'm definitely gonna have to push out let's take a look at our purple science packs make sure that they're still being produced and still being consumed which they are so okay we'll get to worker oh I picked cargo size 2 that's fine that's fine okay so am I making guns automatically for my secondary defensive line I am not what do guns take they take Iron and copper and iron gear wheels. Hmm. I've got iron gear wheels on the bus. I've got iron here. I've got copper here. Hmm. So let's do this. Let's put a... What are the ratios on it? I need to look at the ratios real quick. We need more iron plate than we do copper plate. So I definitely do need to extend this up. And we will need fast inserters there into this. Let's tell this you are now going to be guns. Let's give it power. And now let's get the iron gear wheels up there. Unfortunately, this is in the way. Do I actually need this for anything? No, because I made the connection up there. Good, good, good. Um, let's see. I need more red. And then we leave back to those. Okay. One of the split here. There we go. Okay, more inserters, and we cram this out into a passive provider chest. And again, it's going to be this to just one stack because the way that I use those, I'm only going to use a couple at a time. And I'm missing. Iron plate, why, why, you have iron plate right here, why are you, oh, because it got, it picked up some steel first. Now we'll only pick up iron plate. And there it goes. Okay, so now we've got the guns going. And with the supplemental guns, our defenses will get a lot better. We need more laser turrets. Because what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to creep out. We ha obviously have a base here. We're going to have to creep out to take out that base and this base and these two bases down here. We'll be able to extend our walls. Let's put that on hold for just a moment. And actually, I just remembered. If I come down here, let's. Yep, I got my walls back. Ugh. Move, move, move. 
Where's the end of the wall? There it is. Okay. So that brings our wall all the way out to here. We've got a gun emplacement there. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to actually get this copper field inside the walls right now. Why wait until later, right? So let's actually pull the wall over from here. And extend it up like so. There. So now I've got my next patch of copper already secured. And what I need to do actually is one, two, three, four, five. Let's do another wall pass here. And the reason for that is because I need to put, be able to put guns up against the wall when I box myself in. I was just worried about getting the, the, uh, the wall up first and worrying about actual defense later and now it's later Ugh, stuck there and how far out do I want to take these walls Oh, I'm out of walls, so I guess it's going to be here. Clean up this little spur right there. Oops. <laughs> One too many. There we go. And now it's, let's do a pass with our guns. Are those pointing south? Yes, they are. Let's not equip my my uh, <laughs> heavy oil storage tank. That would be very, very bad. Okay. The lubricant I'm not as concerned about, but still. Those are trees? Yes, they are. And, yeah, let's just get rid of this as well. Okay. And one more pass with the guns. And here we are getting attacked down here. Ouch. You evil dick. Okay. 
actually have this connect there. Nope, this is perfect. Just like that. We'll do another pass over here. Right there is, is perfect. Okay. So now we're secure almost all the way across, well, pretty much across the south side of the map. As far as we are on the north side of the map, we are, we've almost just basically reclaimed all of this land in the middle, which is good. Lasers are being produced. Yes and yes. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to put a cut in here. This looks like a good stopping point. Um, yep, we're up to 298 logistic robots. Yeah, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you next time. Have fun.